Well, my name is, first of all, my name is Cynthia Lanise. I am, at this point in time, just turned 38 years old. Hi. And I had my surgery, I had gastric bypass on November 21st of, night, of 2016. And um, from then on, my start weight was 267. Right now I am at 160, 163, it depends on my day. So I've been on and around 100 to 102 pounds lost. There were several things, um, if I go back to a year ago, there were several things going on in my life that were actually putting so much pressure on me. I, had a, I have a very stressful job. I have um, a very uh, strong cultural pressure to be thin, to be healthy, to be under control. Um, I was feeling so down with myself. Um, I was not feeling healthy enough. I felt like my performance during a regular day was actually declining so much every single day. I would wake up in the morning and just do everything because I had to do it, but not because I had the will or I had the power or I had the strength to do it. And I was actually at a point where I was trying to do, um, after getting uh, from work, I was trying to go to the gym. I was trying to spend an hour, hour and a half at the gym, and I didn't see any results. And I would go to the doctor, and I would always try to find some type of excuse for myself or what was happening, even though I was trying my best to do everything. I couldn't find a reason why. Um, I was not losing weight, why I didn't feel healthy. I was always making excuses for everyone. Well, I'm overweight because I have so much work to do. I cannot control my eating habits because, I mean, I eat what's available for me. And I got put, I think I got pushed so much that I just felt like I was helpless and I just really didn't care about my weight. So... Uh, at some point in time during that year um, and talking to someone about my experiences, uh, I found someone that actually showed me that there was another option for me. Uh, because I come from a family with a very, very heavy genetic background on diabetes, hypertension, um, heart conditions, and I knew that's where my life was heading if I didn't do anything for me. So we actually had a very, very long talk a couple of days before the surgery. And I, I told them, I mean, if you love me, then you're going to let me do what's right for me. And I think that was the moment when they actually just stopped pushing back and they just decided to let me go forward with it. And I think um, from what I've seen in them, they've seen the positive changes and they know that I've done what it's right for me at this point in time. And really, I mean, the surgery, I thought it was going to be completely different. I thought I was going to have uh, so much more pain, so much more complications that I was not going to be able to recover so fast. It was never in my life had I had a surgery uh, so extensive as this. And I think... Uh, it was not what I expected. It was just something so simple. Uh, I was back to work in less than two weeks. I was up and running the very first day after the surgery. I was walking as much as I could. Um, I did not expect it to be this easy. I'm not going to say right now I'm almost, I'm going to be 10 months out from surgery very soon. And right now I'm able to eat um, almost anything. It's me, the one that's actually limiting what I can or cannot eat. I think right now I'm able to say, you know what, I can go ahead and have something of what you're having, try it, and then walk away from it because that's not what I crave anymore. I actually crave other things. I've taught myself to crave other things, and my body is not actually always asking me for sugars or for fats or her car carbs, and that's actually um, 
helped me. I mean, this tool has actually helped me so much to go uh, and to change the way I eat. They all see a different me. I have so much more confidence in myself. I can actually uh, go out so much more. I feel like I can be outside and I can uh, do so many things without having pain, without being tired, without being all the time uh, self-conscious about how I look or how other people are looking at me. And it's so sad that our culture is the culture of judgment towards people that have overweight. Uh, and I hate that part about the culture that we have, but it's still there. It's a stigma, it's a taboo. And right now I feel like I'm out of that taboo now. I'm actually in a place where I feel like I'm accepted by everyone, even though I know that's not how it was supposed to be. And it's, uh, it still sometimes surprises me when I walk up to the mirror and I see myself and I'm not seeing that person that was there 10 months ago. I know who it is looking back at me, but it still surprises me because I was so used to that different body image of myself. And sometimes that can be hard. Um, sometimes it's hard to actually reconcile um, that this change has gone through so fast. Um, like I said, I mean, my whole life I was always taught to do exercise, diet, and that's the only way. Exercise, diet, that's the only way. Um, I've heard comments of people telling me, well, you don't have to eat. That's what you're losing weight. You did actually take the easy way out because, I mean, you had someone cut into your stomach. You had someone uh, help you do have the job for you. And if they were in front of me right now, I would tell them, you try it you tell me if this is the easy way out. It is not. It is a complete hard process first to accept that you're not able to do something on your own. I think that's the hardest part. When you find out that you're not able to take care of what the whole world has been telling you to, that you can do on your own, when you find out that you're not able to, that's so hard. But and then if you feel like you've lost all hope, if you feel like you have not found a way out, if you feel like if you're trying to do everything and you don't get the results that you need, then maybe it's time for you to actually look for something more. Maybe it's time for you to start researching and doing your due diligence and looking for other options for yourself. And this was my option and this was my choice. And this is what I did to feel better and to be healthier. And it might not be the same for everyone, but this is what has been a positive change in my life. This, this has made a change in me.